Hi, I'm Daniel Sunjata, and you're at the opening night of The Country House on Broadway. The Country House is essentially a family comedy drama, except all of the people in it are somehow related to acting or the theater or film, uh, except for one character played by Sarah Steele, who is a college student who has eschewed the whole family business. But for me, it was, a, it was kind of a departure from some of my other uh, sort of more dramatic work, although this too, I think, will leave people in tears. It's about a family of theatrical people, but it really could be a family, it could be any family. There's dysfunctions that I think are certainly possible in any family. A son who feels very neglected and, and is trying to be an artist, the rest of his family is a, a, a successful group of artists, and there's frustration and jealousies, and, um, and also the, the very beloved daughter, my daughter, has died. So we're there really to have a first year's uh, reunion since her death. And, sets off all kinds of emotional explosions and... I play Elliot uh, Cooper, who is Blythe Danner's son, who is sort of the black sheep of the family. He's the one who was never quite as successful as everyone else and really compares himself against everyone else all the time. Uh, sort of yearning to be where they are and ultimately it's just not where he's meant to be. So he's sort of on a, you know, a quest to... to I think find acceptance, but, and, and maybe from himself, most of all. Um, but he's a prickly pear, you know, he's a, he's a sort of a dry, bitter pain in the ass. But underneath it all, he's a, he's a little boy who just wants his mommy. You know? I play Nell, a wonderful woman, who, uh, an actress who's a guest in the country house, not part of the family, but trying to join this family, so she's causing a little mayhem and investigating some colorful personalities in the Berkshires. Well, what's so fun about playing Susie Keegan is that she's really kind of like the voice of, the grounded voice of truth. And to be the youngest person in the play um, and, get, and to get to play that role, that dichotomy is very fun, I think, for everyone. Well, I am a big time, I'm a, I'm a Hollywood uh, uh, film director. And uh, I used to be a very, very well-known and very well-respected theater director. And I left that to make a bunch of money. And so um, I'm very conflicted about that. And one of the characters in the play lands on that conflict and opens some wounds. There is a strong examination of the human condition, specifically in the sense of a son who has always felt like he has not gotten the affirmation and love from his mother that he always wanted and how that's affected him. Now he's kind of like a frustrated artist who's not as successful as the other members in, uh, of the family have been in their artistic pursuits. And he just de desperately wants affirmation from his mom. That's really what his whole thing is about. Um, and I find it quite touching when he has his climactic emotional scene at the end of the play. I've already left, I'm waiting for the curtain call. And I watch him every single night and he moves me every single night. That's hard to do. I don't mean to move me. I don't mean that I'm emotionally unavailable. I just mean that to bring it, to, to, to do a, a scene that's that emotionally charged and to be that authentic every single time is, that's hard, that's hard. And he makes it seem effortless. Yeah.